The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. We are at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Very cool. You're standing on the platform of the brew house. This is a cream ale and a brown lager. So cool. That's not the coolest thing. Severe threat. Right, well, we're I think we're over like 2,500 pounds. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. You can't hurt it by just touching no. it like that? Okay. No. I love it, love it, love it, uh oh. So good it hurts. They love to play games and they taught us how to play canasta in one of our previous trips so we decided hey let's catch up on our canasta team skills. Wael is a great friend. He's like a brother to me. However, Wael is such a cheater. We spent the entire game trying to catch him. No, I didn't cheat yet. <laughs> <laughs> and guess whose team Wael's on? Which is bad news, you know why? Because it makes it harder for me to cheat because everybody's looking at our team now. <laughs> I just love how his entire state changed. I did not lose this game. You're seeing him going through what he's going through? And we caught him. That's what it's all about. Having a good time, enjoying your friends and family, and just capturing those moments. What did you say about the brakes? <laughs> They're not working. I'll tell you when I'm going through a panic attack. Should be getting our lakeside property. I love national parks or state parks. You see nature at its best. However, whoever designed these parks did not design it for large vehicles. Bert said he wanted one of the spots that was facing the lake. And you have a slant that if you miss, you go right into the lake. I probably have the easiest job when it comes to parking the RV. I get to sit inside and just hold the dog so they don't jump on Bert. The back of the trailer is scraping the bottom. So we needed to jump two spots. The only problem is, is that it was kind of a severe dip. It was just really intense. One opportunity. If you miss it, you won't see the next episode. <laughs> Third time was a charm. All I know is at one point, he scraped the bottom. It was cool, it was great. And like every experience that we do, I love it because we're still here making videos. That means we made it. Now we made a stop because we want to uh, get one of our crosses. I want to show it to him, so I'm just take it with me. Oh, that's beautiful. No, wait till you read it. So we made a quick pit stop. So I go out to get something from the RV. And then I come back to tell Bert, uh, hey, you know, guess what? The second blowout. Because it's not an experience unless you have two. That means it blew up a while ago. Yeah. And I look at my watch and I see that it's 7.30 and we have a mastermind in 30 minutes and we're still 30 minutes away from the park. So I pull out my computer and I start making sure that the PowerPoint's ready. Man, we we're like a pit crew. We were professionals. Well, it took us an hour and a half the first time. The second time it took us about 20 minutes. One thing to keep in mind is to always learn from your previous issues, situations, or problems. And take my word for it, we learned. You just never know what's gonna happen and you just know that you always have to deliver on an event. We have an antique fire truck <laughs> picking up people as they're going to a fire and I can't pass it because it's illegal. What so time I... is it about? 7.53. And we have to be on at eight. Think we're gonna start on time, guys? I think we are. We have to, we just might start from a phone tell everybody give us like five ten minutes to set up and we'll be good or we'll just do it straight from the phone we'll see what happens so a lot of people in our industry want to share with you that their life is perfect and they kind of hide what's going on <laughs> our this lives real are not life. perfect you know it's damn close to being perfect but <laughs> but this is it this is real life and this is what people need to understand that you know no matter what challenges they're going through they need to still make it happen so make it happen it's not just a term or a phrase 
It's we lifestyle. live it, baby. We live, make it happen. <laughs> Getting to the campground, parking it, unhitching it, stabilizing it, putting the electrical. After we did all that, setting up the equipment, connecting to the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi doesn't work. Connecting on our phones, and then going live, and then making sure that you deliver the message from the heart because you really want to give these people the great tools. Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, raise your hands. And then when you're done, you're just drained. We really love to do it. Let me tell you something. We have issues. We have debates. We have arguments. But at the end of the day, we love each other so much. That's why when anyone comes in contact with us, they always tell us the same thing. It used to be Bert, you changed one. Like now it's you guys, because there's always a connection with someone from our team. Because what you see is what you get. It's all real, it's all heart. It's our lifestyle. We gotta end with a bang. Hopefully not. Have you noticed that when you do a road trip, everyone gets as tired as the driver? <laughs> the closer we got, and I started looking back, everyone started dropping. So by the time we're like 30 minutes, 45 minutes from home, everyone was passed out. I mean, in our defense, sometimes we run out of stuff to do in the car. Overall, this road tour was an amazing experience. Besides the two blowouts and the nerve-wracking drives through the mountains, really was just so much fun. As the viewer, you might see some bad experiences, but for us, those were just learning experiences. And I think the entire trip was just memory building. We really didn't have any real blowouts or any like really negative things happen. In the end, as always, I think we just got more closer as a team. We'll be doing this next year and maybe we'll be going to your city or state. Let's break down what we learned. One of the things is being able to make sure that you expand your mind to new things. For example, for us, we're really into homeopathic methods and nutraceuticals and being able to learn about kombucha. It was really interesting. And the cool thing about it is that there are so many interesting things out there as long as you keep an open mind. Number two, nature. Being that we come from a metropolitan city and we're always traveling to these great places around the world, we always find time to connect with nature. Look around, look at the beautiful trees, the flowers, and just embrace how beautiful this world is that we live in. And that's one of the things we were able to do in our trip is really connect with nature. And like always, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Wait, wait, wait. I hope you enjoyed the entire tour as much as we enjoyed making it for you. In fact, Stay tuned for our coming tours. We might be able to actually connect and get to know each other. And like always, make sure to keep making it happen and I'll see you next week. I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to the family show. And what I, hey, what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're going to do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do, do, what are you waiting for? Do it now.